cruise along smoothly to the next match between Ajay Kumar Gurg Engineering College who is taking on PICT that is the Pune Institute of Computer Technology that is team in blue uh, Sakshi one must say that the momentum as far as the matches is concerned is only getting better and better with every passing match looking back at the Shambhaji Nagar match between D.Y. Patil Institute of Technology where D.Y. Patil was only managed to score 10 points up against 190 points and let's hope that Ajay Kumar College of Engineering and PICT can put up a better show here. Well, at the end of the day, we always want a good match to happen between two teams, but sometimes that may not be the case to be. But here's hoping that this particular game turns out to be an interesting one and a neck-to-neck -neck competition. And what we see as of now also is that the blue team over here, which is represented by SCTR, Pune Institute of Computer Technology, Pune, is off to a flying start with four of their seedlings so far pitted right into the holes, while the red team is still trying to figure out, I believe they are collecting or making an effort to pick up those seedlings as many as possible in one shot and then plant them into the holes. But that strategy so far hasn't paid them off any benefits. While on the other hand, their opposition is off to a good start. So far, five seedlings have been planted by them into the holes and we see that seven more remain to finish off the 12-pointer mark that is there, the 12 holes. And then they can move on to the seven, into the next zone, which is the second zone. But irrespective of how this match turns out to be, because it's almost halfway down now, or less than half, half, uh, less than one minute uh, point fifteen seconds remaining into the match, because the blue team is off to a good start right now. Any points that they are collecting right now may turn out to be in their favor if the red team is not able to open their account at all, which possibly Akshay right now looks the case to be. Oh, just uh, less than one minute remaining, 58 seconds to be precise and team in blue even though they have managed to plant successfully eight seedlings there. Um, but uh, they wouldn't be too happy with them because the efficiency as far as the time taking is concerned, team blue would have liked to have a better timing there. Just because team in red has not been able to open their account, that doesn't really make them a better team there. They would have really would have gone after the th stage number two at least so far because this is 30 seconds remaining and they are still stuck at the area number one. That goes to show that the time consumption has been a little too much of a concern as far as Team Blue is concerned but uh, nevertheless Team Red has been rather unlucky as far as the area one is concerned. Their bot is just not being able to pick successfully those rice seedlings and they are still stuck on the rice peddling track. Brings to my mind the same thing, Akshay, that we were talking about, that these robots are built by the students and the efficiency of the robots is dependent upon the fact that how well are they made to be able to execute the strategies that the students have in mind. And quite clearly right now, Red Team's robot is a classic example of being a certain kind of make and yet not being able to live up to the expecta expectations of executing the act smoothly and efficiently and that is what we witnessed because the students struggle to make the robot move to make the seedlings get picked up by the robot in the first place and that goes to show that the robot's entire efficacy and also the efficiency with which it was built was not up to the mark in terms of 100% smoothness which is why they struggled to even be able to place one seedling. On the other hand, the blue team really got off to a good start. Their robot was smooth, efficient.